Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm going to show you guys how to install the newest update of Windows 11 on your machine. Uh, so what you want to do is, uh, now right now we're currently running, hold on, we are currently running uh, 21, 900, uh, 996.1, so that is the uh, leaked build, but we're going to upgrade to the newest version. So you want to hit update and security, Windows Insider Program, and there should be a get started button. So you want to select that, uh, sign into your Microsoft account, and then uh, you want to select either dev or base beta channel. For me in this video I'm doing dev channel and then it'll ask you to reboot. Once you reboot you want to go into uh, Windows update check for updates and there should be a new one that will pop up which is for today's video. So as you guys can see up here, it says Windows 11 Insider Preview, uh, so 2000, uh, no, 22,000.51 co-release, so you're just waiting for that to download, and yeah, uh, do that, Let's wait for this thing to download. Now I also want to point out, uh, I will leave a link to how to bypass TPM 2.0 and Secure Boot in the description. By the way, that is my most popular video, so thank you guys for that, but uh, go to that It'll be in the description uh, to bypass that and install Windows 11 on any non-compatible machine. And then from there, you can just do this. I'm pretty sure you can also use Windows 10, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to be using Windows 11 and then upgrading that to the newest update of Windows 11, if that makes sense. All right, so guys, and now we're restarting because we're going to be uh, installing the update. So let's take care of that now, and I'll be back shortly. One thing you may notice is that the font is different. I noticed that when I first um, installed this update, but yeah, it's pretty cool uh, in my opinion. So off to a great start. Hold on. Let me type in Winver. All right, so guys, as you guys can see here, uh, 20 each two for some reason. Wait. Oh, no, this is the wrong thing. Hold on. Wait. Hold on. Uh, oops. All right. So what happened is what, uh, I have Windows 10, uh, you know, the actual Windows 10, but I have a virtual machine here. When I pressed the Windows key, it opened up, uh, the actual Windows 10 start menu instead. Um, but yeah, as you guys can see here, uh, 21 H2, this is Windows 11. Uh, yeah. So this is the newest update, and let's go over some of the new things. First of all, I know this has changed. I need to wait for an update to come through, uh, so I'll get updates. But if you notice down here, when you hover over this, it selects as one thing, and then once you click on that, you have multiple things here. You have Bluetooth, if you have Wi-Fi, you can use Wi-Fi. And if you notice, you have the volume slider here. So you just go here, and if you want to change devices, you click that. Pretty cool if you ask me. Let's open up the start menu. The start menu. So everything looks very similar. Um, so as you guys can see here, I'm running VMware. Everything looks a lot different, I mean. Uh, I don't know if I said it looks similar, but no, it definitely looks different. That's what I meant. Um, Ryzen, yeah, you see, this is the computer I have, um, all the specs here. I have half my memory dedicated to this VM, but yeah, Windows 11 Pro. Uh, this is actually the virtual machine I used when activating, or not, not when activating, when I first showed off Windows. This is the exact, uh, VM I used for the... Windows 11 leak. But yeah, that's about it. Um, yeah, that's so far this is all I know that's changed. But yeah, it looks much better in my opinion. Now I have to wait till this updates because this, uh, this will update. Um, I have to show you guys that in a second or once that's done updating, but yeah, it's that needs update. Um, but yeah, overall it looks very similar minus this and the icons in there some of the stuff here that looks different that looks the same this uh oh, the settings look definitely look different um and this will look different i'm just waiting for an update so uh let me show you guys that in just a second all right guys so the thing updated if i click this now as you guys can see a new uh load up screen and Microsoft Store Preview. Stuff like the TikTok app is in here. I don't know about all the Amazon apps, but yeah, you can take a look at that uh, if you install this. Um, as far as the icon hasn't changed, your library and stuff is over here. And you have entertainment, gaming. You even have OBS in here, believe it or not. I'm pretty sure you have OBS in here. Uh, wait, I think it's under apps. Yeah, OBS Studio. So let me install that, because why not? But, um, yeah, just click that. Um, but yeah, overall, it looks very much different. 
Yet same at the exact same time. Go to taskbar settings. Use, you still have the same things here. Uh, I think there's also a new touch keyboard maybe? No, it looks very similar to that. To the other one, but... Oh yeah, another thing which is pretty cool. Um, it looks like a standard keyboard instead of, instead of... Instead of having a little number pad here and other things here. It looks much different now. You have the number to line up there. So that's good. I think that was in the previous build. But yeah, I think that's about it. I'm going to end off the video here. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.